Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina and today we are looking at my setup for standard traveler's notebook. So let's dig in. Okay, like I mentioned, this is a standard size traveler's notebook. And this cover is a Moterm Pebble Black cover. So I wanted to show you how I set up the inserts. If you are um, needing some inspiration or if you're trying to make some decisions like I am for 2022, I just thought that this would be an interesting video to record for you guys. So currently <laughs> I don't have anything in here. Um, I did have some pieces of paper and post-it notes and things like that that I was scribbling on and so I was housing those in here but you could totally put sticker sheets and things like that in there as well if you'd like. There are some um, slip pockets here that I don't use. Um, I just wanted to show you, like I said, how I've set this up. So let's keep that in mind. This insert is um, blank paper and I just put on here um, for the Reader's Mastermind group, we're currently doing a Christian nonfiction book. And so um, I have some scriptures there and some homeschool notes. So if you notice, I write this way because I, I have a better chance of writing a little bit straighter writing this way than I would if I wrote down the whole page. It's not as overwhelming and I can tell a little bit easier if I'm writing crooked. <laughs> so there's that. Basically this, this beginning space right here was just, that's what it's intended for, some notes. I also have currently in here my week four of my 12 week year. So these are my tactics and my tracker for all of the things. And then I have the um, social media insert that I created in Canva, as well as a um, Facebook group tracker that I made in Canva as well. And that I did for the entire month so that they would all be together. And that way I could look and go, okay, I have a video coming here and I have this going there. So I can kind of start filling those things in as things come up. Here I have our homeschool plan. And again, putting those all together as well. And I created this in Canva also. And then here I just had like a few pages left in the back because I didn't count correctly. <laughs> um, pen loop from Amazon, as well as the pen that I'm currently liking, Jetstream uh, Uniball um, pen in 0.7. I never, I haven't got around to it. I haven't put a cover on this insert. Um, if you watch my last videos, you know about this insert. Um, so go back and watch those if you'd like to find out more. Um, this I um, got offline and it had um, like six months on one side or whatever. Anyways, bottom line is, is I cut it down and just put like November and December and then I could write things in on here as things came up. And then I didn't go back and back plan. But this is kind of have my weekly overview, um, how I wanted it to look. Okay, so I want to just do like a recap of the morning and a recap of the evening for quick reference, because our my daily pages get pretty crowded sometimes, not always, but a lot. Um, they get kind of crowded. And so I wanted just like a recap area. I also have space there for dinner. And then these are kind of to do's that I kind of want to get done this week, but they don't have a date yet or things that have, if I think about them, I put them here for me, 
that's a way to know like when I actually thought of them without cluttering up more of my daily page. However, I'm not against using my daily page when I think of things. Um, to buy and happy mail. Right now, I have a lot of orders out because of Christmas. So, um, but basically you can see here, I use acrylic paint, I used um, watercolor, and I use stickers and magazine pictures and, and book pictures, things like that. I love decorating in this way. Um, I basically put a home on this side and a work on this side, and then whatever space I have left, you know, I can journal, uh, make notes and things like that. But it gives me plenty of room and that's what I wanted. So I don't think there's anything in here that's sensitive. Saturday and Sunday is one page for Saturday and this page for Sunday. And I just kind of split it in half that way. And again, another week. So I use my sticky notes whenever I was, and you can see, I'm just going to flip through this real quickly. You can see kind of my decor style. Um, I just put sticky notes down so that I would know how many pages I needed. That was my initial setup. And then, um, you know, with the week as well, the weekly kind of overview. Um, and I just made sure that every page kind of had something on it. This is the center. And you know, I mentioned this in my last video that I would um, put that in the center, the monthly view so that I can find it easier. And then again, just continuing to um, fill the pages. I love flipping back through these pages whenever they have things on them and you can tell. I like the used look, you know what I mean? Um, and I didn't paint all the way back here yet. I don't think there's any more. There's a little few little stickers here and there. All right, so this insert, the paper is much thinner and it's lined. And basically what I did in this one is I went through and put like this type of sticker to where I can like title the page um, and then I can just take notes. This is basically for my 24 plan. So video ideas, um, blog post ideas, website page ideas, things like that. Um, and so most of the pages have that style of sticker at the top so that I can label um, the top of the page. And again, I put some paint, in, you know, on some of the pages, but not everywhere. I like paint because I can write over it. The stickers, you're not going to write over those. So that's why I use paint a lot because it gives the page texture, but you can write over it. And as you can see, I haven't done every page. This last insert is a monthly um, all in one book. And so um, it's just, I, I wanted to have like all of the months because I kind of look at the entire month at a glance and I have my week numbers on there and it's just easier, right? And so then I can look back quickly, when did I last kind of stuff, right? Um, and then I also obviously have December. This um, specific insert has a few extra um, lined pages in it, which I really liked. And then back here, so this kind of was relevant because the, the ring, the Motum Rings A5 planner that I was using had that big pocket in the back, right? And I thought, oh no, what am I going to do? Because I have the standard size TN and I have these letter size things that I want to carry around with me. So what I did is I put them in here and I just fold them like a letter, like a trifold, and then I just stick it in this pocket. So it does stick up just a little bit, but nothing terrible. It almost looks like an envelope from that view. I can easily hold it in my hand. Um, and I feel like I have room for everything in here. Um, so this is a great um, option. Um, my next video, I've almost got it finalized of what I'm going to be using. 
And so my next video, I will be revealing that. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. And my social media links are in the description box below. And feel free to connect with me. Reach out if you have questions or comments. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, bye.